Hey everybody, just doing a quick review on these brew metric chronographs. Picked up a couple of them a few weeks ago when they were uh, when a new batch of them was finally released. Um, and I just wanted to give everybody an opportunity to see them from different angles, see them side by side, which I haven't seen on YouTube uh, before, the two different models together, or at least I haven't video found a video of it. Um, nice watches. So they come in at $425 each. They're a hybrid Mecha Quartz movement from Seiko. Um, it is a chronograph. It's water resistant to 50 meters. Uh, I mean, a stainless steel. It's got a sapphire glass, 20 millimeter lug width, and the case diameter is 36 by 41 and a half. Um, they wear nicely. Um, they've got a cool, a few cool details on them. Uh, case back's got this nice etching or engraving or something like that. It's got some uh, actual texture to it, which is cool. Uh, this silver dial, I was uh, initially going for this other dial color, but um, I really ended up liking the silver dial a lot more, but I figured I'd buy both just in case if I didn't like one, uh, I could just resell it with how popular they are and how quickly they sell out. Figured I have no problem with that. Um, so uh, the one on the left, the uh, that black dial one is really growing on me, but the, the silver is the winner as of right now. Um, I know a lot of people are worried about the size. Uh, my wrist is a seven and an eighth circumference and I'll put it on right now to show you. It fits quite nicely, in my opinion. Um, I was worried it was gonna look a little silly, like a toy almost, like being too small. But uh, no, it's, it's pretty good. Um, especially that square shape, I guess, is kind of uh, what helps it fill out, look like it fill out, fills out the wrist. One click to start the chronograph, one click to pause it, click on the bottom to send it back to zero. Um, pretty standard operation there. Has a date window, um, keeps great time. I said them a few weeks ago and they're still within a couple seconds of uh, true time. So that's great, yeah. Really like them. The clasp feels good. Um, nice thickness on that metal there. Snaps shut pretty nicely. Um, so just wanted to give people a few more angles of this watch so they could really see it outside of pictures and get a sense for it that pictures don't always give you. So yeah, very nice watches. Give you an up close on the silver dial. Really love the light blue on the edge there. And I like that they did the hands, a few of the hands in that really deeper blue. Um, when you get a lot of light on it, it's a really rich blue. Reminds me a lot of my Seiko cocktail time. It has that same sort of very dark hands. These are a little bit lighter than that, but still very nice. All right, there you go.